The intricate dynamic between Arab North Africans and Black Africans encompasses a multifaceted interconnection of historical, cultural, and societal elements that have intricately woven perceptions of superiority and inferiority. Delving into the depths of this relationship is essential for cultivating inclusivity and nurturing social cohesion across the region, as it provides invaluable insights into the complexities of identity formation and intergroup relations. Historically, the interaction between Arab North Africans and Black Africans has been influenced by a myriad of factors spanning centuries, including patterns of migration, trade, and conquest. These historical legacies have left indelible imprints on the collective consciousness of both groups, shaping their perceptions of one another and informing contemporary attitudes and behaviors. Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be presenting the reasons why Arab North Africans feel superior to Black Africans and if there's actually such a thing as superior over another race. Subscribe and turn on post notifications and check out my other videos. Looking at the history context. Racism in the Arab world extends its reach beyond merely targeting non-Arabs, encompassing a diverse array of ethnic and cultural groups residing within Arab states. The expatriate majority in the Arab states of the Persian Gulf, hailing from South Asian countries such as Sri Lanka, Pakistan, India, and Bangladesh, along with Black, European, and Asian communities practicing Islam, often face discriminatory treatment. Additionally, non-Arab ethnic minorities, including Armenians, Africans, the Sakaliba, Southeast Asians, Jews, Kurds, Coptic Christians, Assyrians, Persians, Turks, and other Turkic peoples, encounter varying degrees of prejudice and marginalization while residing in Arab countries across the Middle East. The exploration of once taboo subjects like race and racism in the Arab world has gained traction with the proliferation of foreign, private, and independent media outlets. A notable instance occurred when Al Jazeera provided critical coverage of the Darfur crisis, resulting in the arrest and subsequent conviction of its Chardum bureau chief, shedding light on the contentious issue of racism within the Arab world. This increased scrutiny has prompted broader conversations and awareness about the prevalence of racism, challenging societal norms, and fostering dialogue about the need for greater inclusivity and tolerance. Despite these strides, systemic biases and discriminatory attitudes persist, underscoring the importance of continued efforts to address and dismantle racism in all its forms within Arab societies. In order to grasp the genesis of the Arab North African sense of superiority over Black Africans, it is essential to undertake a thorough exploration of history. The Arab slave trade, a vast and enduring practice spanning numerous centuries, witnessed Arab traders engaging in the enslavement of Africans, thereby perpetuating notions of racial hierarchy and dominance. This prolonged historical exploitation not only facilitated economic gains for Arab traders, but also played a pivotal role in shaping and reinforcing entrenched attitudes of superiority among certain Arab communities. The Arab slave trade, which predates the transatlantic slave trade by centuries, operated along established trade routes across the African continent, extending from the East African coast to the Arabian Peninsula and beyond. Arab traders, motivated by economic incentives, engaged in the capture, transportation, and sale of enslaved Africans, who were often subjected to harsh and dehumanizing conditions. This exploitation of human labor and the commodification of human beings contributed significantly to the accumulation of wealth and power among Arab elites, further reinforcing perceptions of superiority over their enslaved counterparts. Moreover, the Arab slave trade was not solely an economic enterprise, but also a cultural and social phenomenon that permeated various aspects of Arab society. The widespread practice of slavery became deeply embedded within Arab societies, influencing social hierarchies, religious beliefs, and cultural norms. As a result, the notion of racial superiority became ingrained within the collective consciousness of some Arab communities, perpetuating discriminatory attitudes and behaviors towards black Africans. Cultural Contributions The expansion of Islam throughout North Africa has significantly influenced perceptions of racial identity in the region. 
The process of Arabization, combined with the predominance of Arab culture and language, has occasionally resulted in the marginalization of non-Arab or Black African communities. This phenomenon, rooted in historical and cultural dynamics, has contributed to the perpetuation of attitudes of superiority within Arab-dominated societies. The emergence of Arab identity as a dominant cultural and religious force has been closely linked to notions of superiority, both culturally and religiously. This association has, at times, marginalized non-Arab or Black African communities, reinforcing the prevailing belief in Arab cultural and religious superiority. The spread of Islam, while unifying diverse populations under a common faith, has also served to entrench hierarchical perceptions of racial identity, with Arab culture often positioned as the standard of excellence. Moreover, the legacy of colonialism and imperialism in North Africa has further complicated dynamics of racial identity and hierarchy. European powers, in their quest for dominance and control, perpetuated divisions among indigenous populations, exacerbating existing tensions and inequalities. This colonial legacy, coupled with the influence of Arabization and Islamization, has contributed to the marginalization of non-Arab or Black African communities, reinforcing perceptions of Arab cultural and religious superiority. Religious and Societal Influences In medieval Arab society, attitudes toward Black people were influenced by a combination of factors, resulting in a generally negative perception. While the Quran itself does not exhibit racial prejudice, ethnocentric biases against black individuals were prevalent among medieval Arabs for several reasons. Firstly, the extensive conquests and slave trade conducted by Arab societies contributed to the marginalization and devaluation of black individuals. Additionally, the adoption of Aristotelian ideas regarding slavery particularly the categorization of certain groups like the Zanj, reinforced discriminatory attitudes. Moreover, influences from Judeo-Christian ideologies regarding divisions among humanity further perpetuated racial biases within Arab communities. However, it's important to note that there were exceptions to this prevailing negative attitude. Al-Jahiz, an Afro-Arab author with a Zanj heritage, challenged stereotypes with his work Superiority of the Blacks to the Whites, which sought to highlight the positive attributes of black individuals. In his writings, he attributed the physical attributes of the Zanj to environmental factors, advocating for a more nuanced understanding of racial diversity. By the 14th century, the influx of slaves from West and Central Africa further intensified racial tensions and stereotypes in Arab societies. Historians like al Shibi reflected these biases in their writings, perpetuating derogatory stereotypes about black individuals, such as the notion that they were prone to immoral behavior like fornication and theft. These historical attitudes underscore the complexity of racial dynamics in medieval Arab societies and their lasting impact on contemporary perceptions. Despite progress in challenging stereotypes and promoting inclusivity, systemic biases continue to shape interactions and relationships between Arab and Black communities today. Comparing with other cultures Although the Arab North African superiority complex towards Black Africans is undoubtedly a notable concern, comparable dynamics are observable in various other cultures and regions globally. Examining instances such as colorism within the African diaspora and caste-based discrimination in South Asia unveils prevalent attitudes of superiority rooted in race or social status across diverse societies. Colorism a phenomenon prevalent within the African diaspora underscores the belief in the superiority of lighter skin tones over darker ones. This complex issue has historical roots in colonialism and slavery, where lighter skinned individuals were often afforded preferential treatment and opportunities over their darker skinned counterparts. Today, manifestations of colorism persist, perpetuating social hierarchies and reinforcing notions of superiority and inferiority based on skin color. Similarly, caste-based discrimination in South Asia illustrates another facet of the superiority complex entrenched within certain societies. The caste system, a social hierarchy prevalent in countries like India, perpetuates inequality and marginalization based on one's caste or social status. 
Those belonging to lower castes face systemic discrimination in various aspects of life, including access to education, employment, and social opportunities. The belief in the inherent superiority of higher castes over lower castes reinforces entrenched social divisions and perpetuates inequality. Socioeconomic factors. The presence of socioeconomic inequalities and power imbalances within Arab North African societies has the potential to intensify perceptions of superiority. In many cases, Arab communities find themselves occupying positions of privilege and influence when contrasted with their black African counterparts, thereby solidifying the belief in superiority based on factors such as social standing and economic prosperity. These disparities are evident across various domains, including educational opportunities, employment prospects, and political representation, thus perpetuating the notion of superiority stemming from socioeconomic advantages. Facing the challenge Dismantling stereotypes, fostering inclusivity, and championing social justice represent pivotal measures in confronting the Arab North African sense of superiority towards black Africans. Prioritizing education, engaging in constructive dialogue, and implementing initiatives aimed at leveling the playing field are fundamental in nurturing a society that values equality and embraces diversity. By actively promoting these principles, strides can be made towards creating a more balanced and cohesive community within the region, where all individuals are afforded equal opportunities and respect, regardless of their racial or ethnic background. Conclusion the intricate dynamics of the Arab North African sense of superiority towards black Africans are deeply embedded within historical narratives, cultural norms, and socioeconomic structures. Delving into these multifaceted dimensions and undertaking concerted efforts to confront and rectify them are essential steps towards fostering a society characterized by inclusivity and fairness. Through comprehensive awareness and proactive measures, we can aspire to cultivate a more harmonious and just community, one that celebrates the inherent worth and dignity of every individual, irrespective of their racial or ethnic background. That brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to share your thoughts in the comment section below.